Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alicia. Most people know me as Lisi. I just want to share with you guys a little bit about my testimony today. I've been a part of Kingdom City for a couple of years now, and it's an amazing place that I absolutely call home. But there was a time where I didn't know God. See, when I was younger, I went through some things that I guess a young girl probably shouldn't really have to go through. And those events led me to a point where, when I was 17, I overdosed and attempted to take my life. Now, two weeks after I'd been let out of hospital, I was working part-time in a, in a shop back in New Zealand called The Warehouse of the Waddy Fuddy. And this guy comes up to me, who I barely know, in the toys aisle of all places, and starts sharing his story with me. And he said this to me, he said, man, I used to be real depressed, eh? And then God filled this gap in my life. And I was like, far out, I've got this massive gap. Now this guy sharing his story with me had no idea that two weeks earlier I'd just been let out of hospital for attempting to take my life. So he invited me to go along to church and it was crazy because after the service, this woman comes up to me, another person who I don't even know, and she's like, um, God has something to say to you. And I was like, it talks? She's like, yeah, God knows who you are. He knows where you've been. He knows that you've been hurt in the past by men and He wants to come in and heal that hurt. Now she said a whole bunch of things to me that I knew that only God could have known. But do you know what I think is amazing was her boldness to come up and share those things with me, a complete stranger. Now I gave my life to Jesus there and then because I knew like I knew like I knew that He was real. Now I got given this Bible, right? I hated reading because I'd been kicked out of school and I was like, shucks, I've got to read. So I flipped it open and I stuck my finger in the middle of the page. And I will never forget the first thing that I ever read was this. It said, yes, I have loved you. With an everlasting love, I have drawn you. Again, I will build you and you shall be rebuilt. Now this is what God said to me. He said, yes, I have loved you with an everlasting love. He's like, I was there then and I'm there now. I've been with you through all of that stuff. I have drawn you. I've drawn you into me, but I've drawn the blueprints for your life. See, you've gone this way, but I've drawn them this way. So again, I will rebuild you and you shall be rebuilt. Man, I have held on to that promise for so long now. And He has completely rebuilt my life, which is absolutely amazing. And there's just this one last thing that I wanna share with you. See, a few years on, I was involved in youth ministry and I was at this young person's house and we're sitting on the couch praying. And this woman walks into the room and threw it into the kitchen. And I just started hearing in my spirit, her prayers, her prayers, her prayers. And I was like, what is this? Like, I have to get up and go and speak to this person. So I got up and I went into the kitchen and by the end of our conversation, it turned out that she was the nurse that had looked after me when I had overdosed and attempted to take my life. And she had prayed for my salvation. And I was able to tell her that two weeks after that, that I had come to know Jesus because of pretty much a stranger in a shop one day. I guess as a result, because that nurse prayed for me when I'd overdosed and attempted to take my life, because that random guy come up to me in the toys aisle and shared with me about his faith and about God, because that woman at the church was bold enough to come across the room and speak to me, a person who she didn't know about, something that she felt God had told her to come and speak to me about, I'm alive today. You know, I know that I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for their step of faith to come along and share those things with me. I wouldn't have come to know God and have this amazing relationship with Him. And now all I wanna be able to do is bring the reality of God into other people's lives by doing something as simple as just sharing things with them like those people did for me.